Vamos, dale, vamos, vamos. Oh. What's up everybody, it's Claudio here and today I'm going to the Merrick Road Criterium out in Long Island. Um, I've never been there before, I've seen a bunch of videos of it. Um, it's my first weekend that I'm off on a Sunday uh, and I can actually go and do it so I'm excited. New race, uh, probably see some familiar faces. Um, I'm gonna be in the four or five field and I believe it's like a half mile loop, 45 minute crit. Let's get to it. That minivan life. All right, so I'm here. I just scoped out the course. It doesn't look very technical at all. It's kind of uh, the thing that you could pedal through all the corners if you wanted to. Um, so it should be good on that end. Um, I'm excited to see where I am as far as my fitness. I've been training exclusively indoors for the past three weeks through uh, Trainer Road. And um, I've been doing about uh, five Trainer Road workouts a week and um, a lot of VO2 max intervals, uh, some endurance stuff, uh, sweet spot, but I uh, feel like uh, I should be okay at this race. I mean, it depends on the competition, but I'm curious to see what three weeks on trainer road will do for me. So, let's check it out. All right, so here we go. The start of the race started out actually with a flat tire 10 minutes before as I was warming up, not a good way to start the race, barely making it to the start line. Uh, so here are my stats. For those of you who don't know, age 36, 53, 153 pounds, FTP is 242. Uh, max heart rate is uh, 187, 190, and I train about seven hours a week on the bike, um, mostly on trainer road and um, I'm feeling it out. I'm feeling out the effects of uh, almost exclusive indoor training. And here I'm moving up, because I know I have to. There's no way I can start a race at the back. I just can't do that. I know some people like to hang out back there, but I, there's no way I'll survive. So I'm coming up on the first turn, and uh, I'm gonna feel it out here and I can't hold that line. That's what I realized right away. I just can't. I couldn't hold that wheel, so there's this gap and I had to make this effort. And uh, not good. A lot of waste here. They slow down, of course. It's, it's not too fast right away. Um, everybody's feeling it out. And you have 40 laps of this. And I'm in there also feeling it out. And uh, on this turn, it's easier to stay on the inside. It's easier to pedal. Uh, but when it gets up to speed at 25 miles an hour, it's, it's a whole nother thing, as you'll see. So again, a lot of um, me just... Uh, trying to figure out this race it looks like it's easy on the map it's just like two curves right on the end but this turn right here is uh, deceptively difficult for a beginner it's hard to hold your line I mean you need a certain amount of confidence look at this go way wide which is honestly kind of dangerous I if, if somebody was on my left I could have wiped them out right so I mean, I really just didn't know how to take that turn. And here we go again. That same turn, skipping ahead. Just going way too wide. Can't hold the line. Then have to make a huge effort. 700 
watts. If I have to do that 40 times, um, 700, 800 watts, here it is again, that same turn. Can't really hold the line. I'm just, I don't have the courage. And boom, 800 to get back on. What it is is you uh, you don't have the courage to to lean your bike over, right? When you're when you're a beginner, if you if you lean your bike over just a little, like this is my threshold right here, and then boom, I, I chicken out, and then I go wide. But what happens is you you feel like the bike is gonna slide under you, but of course it's not not at that angle. It's it feels like uh, the angle is way too steep, but in reality, it's not steep at all. It's just, uh, you know, you figuring it out as a beginner. And that's mostly what this race was about. I was just figuring out that angle. And how far can I lean over and not wipe out? I mean, I didn't even come close to wiping out, but it felt like every turn that I was actually gonna you know slide under and uh, another thing is uh, it also feels like you're gonna clip the the road with your pedal right and sometimes it does if you lean over far enough it will clip I haven't figured out what that angle is yet for me but that's also like um, kind of terrifying to clip the road because you'll definitely almost lose it if that happens so this is it. This is like a lot of wasted efforts because I just don't know how to lean on my bike over. I don't have the confidence yet. And um, you'll see like some of these riders, they totally do. Um, and towards the end of this race, I started to get it. But it just takes a while. I mean, hopefully next week I'll have more confidence. But that's really what happened at this race is I just couldn't uh, figure out that turn and I wasted so many watts and now I'm chasing because I'm just off the back every turn I'm losing like five bike lengths all right so it's so important this is just this is all a purely technical loss I definitely had the fitness to sit in but you know going so many efforts lap after lap it, they, they'll just burn your legs. There's no way I can keep doing that. So here I'm out of the draft. I gotta get back in there. And I do. Here I don't get drop if I manage somehow to get back on. Heart rate is above 170, that means that I'm hurting. Anything above 170, anything, if it goes into 180, that's like red line for me. Um, so again, I'm just more efforts. Things are going fast. This straightaway here, I believe it was uh, some tailwind or some kind of version of a cross tailwind. So this this got fast, and on the other straightaway was uh, some kind of a headwind or cross version of that. So let's see how I take this turn here. This was easier because it was, you know, 20 miles an hour. So it's not a big deal. But when it gets to, you know, 25, it's a whole nother story. Here's skipping ahead. Um, I'm still kind of in it, but I'm just off the back. When I'm off the back like this, it's just, it, there's, I'm almost for sure going to get dropped. Me trying to figure out this turn and just hanging on. Just so many wasted efforts trying to get back in there. You know, going wide, not holding the line. I mean, it's not bad to go wide, but. It, if you want to go wide, go wide, but don't go wide, you know, just because of a lack of confidence. Sometimes you got to really hold that line in the inside. And then I find myself kind of towards the front for a second, um, which is not really good. 
because you know I'm, I can't. I'm not gonna pull. I don't have. I don't have that kind of strength. I'm gonna blow up right away. So I'm up there, and, and watch these guys. They just really take that. They hold the wheel, and I don't. And then I lose like <laughs> ten. 10 places right there like in two seconds so it's that's so important that turn is so key to the success just to sit in here it is again and I'm up the back another 700 watt effort and then I gotta chase it and I believe this is the prime lap yep sounds like it so this is uh, when they start hammering it. If it's premium lap and I'm off the back, and that's kind of goodbye for me. I'm almost for sure gonna get dropped because I gotta bridge this little gap and then I gotta somehow sustain, you know, they're gonna be going, they're gonna be hammering it at the front. And I'm already 177, my heart rate. And there's just no chance. People are blowing up. And that is how I got dropped. I might have come back from this actually. Forget, because I, I got dropped and then I made a huge effort. Let me see what happens here. And it just, you know, this feeling is, is not good. Just seeing the group ahead of you that far and knowing that you're already like way above your threshold. And, uh, you know, some other dropped riders, we try to work together. And here I am making a pretty good effort to get back. I'm really pushing it, really digging in. Because I know it's like my last chance. And no matter how much it hurts, I have to get in there. 180 BPM on my heart rate. I am hurting. Of course, during the race, I'm not looking at... Uh, there's no time to look at my Garmin. Not even once I think I looked at it. Um, it's just survival out here. So I'm blowing up big time right now. Uh, I can see them. I'm hoping that they can... Uh, okay, this guy here decides to do some work. That's awesome. And hopefully I can recover. I, we can see them, though. Hope, I mean, we're hoping that they slow down. This guy has a good turn. I don't hold it. And see what happens there. Five bike lengths. I lose just from not being able to make that turn. We're in there. I'm trying to get back on. And the guy flicks his elbow. And I'm like, dude, wait a second. I'm just, I need to recover. I'm all blown up from that effort. And all those other efforts. So it's just these little gaps that, see now, he gapped me again. And, and he wasn't doing more watts. He just turned better. It's such a technical thing. Now take a pull. And it looks like they're slowing down. And we are... We made it. Totally made it. The guy in front of me is happy. He's celebrating. Tell me good work. And I'm like, I'm, I know that I can't sustain this. I mean, the, the group slowed down, but there's no way I can get back on. Um, if there's even a, the smallest little acceleration, I'm done, which happens right here. Plus, I still didn't figure out how to turn my bike efficiently, so forget about it. 
just chasing all all race long just chasing these little gaps that form because I I don't know how to lean my bike over it's so it sounds so basic and everybody else clearly knows how okay so I and they lap me and then I asked the guy if I can hop back on and he said yes apparently up until like maybe three laps or something there's some kind of rule so then I try to hop back on it's really hard to do that you have to you have to find a little gap I mean there's a gap there but I people are yelling at me like hold your line you know and it's it's just like hectic it's hard it's hard to get back on and I, you can get on basically at the end and I kind of try and I'm almost I almost do it but I really can't I don't have any more and so they drop me again and then I start working with this guy I try to stay in there I got some more lap riders um, just finish out the race you know And that's it. They pull us out. Guys, thanks for watching. Here is the final sprint. And followed by the field sprint. Luckily, everybody was okay. They managed to walk away. Again, thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe. And I'll see you out there. Peace.